Dustin Pascal here with Simon Pascal Says. Uh, coming to you today from Simon Pascal Studios and going to talk to you again about something that uh, you as an employer or you as an HR professional may think doesn't apply to you, uh, but actually does. So uh, any employer that's a uh, kind of non-governmental employer and also in a non-union setting oftentimes forgets or doesn't understand that uh, the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board, and the National Labor Relations Act um, both apply to uh, the workplace. And particularly, there's something that just came out recently, uh, I say recently, uh, end of last year, end of 2020, um, regarding uh, representation for employees. And particularly what it was talking about was when you as an employer have to interview one of your employees um, related to some sort of investigation and if that investigation or that interview uh, has the potential of resulting in discipline to the employee at issue then that employee has a right to be represented during that interview and what happened was uh, it's kind of gone back and forth in, in, as to whether that applies in a non-union setting and whether a non-union employee has a right to representation um, well recently what they've they've kind of come to the conclusion is uh, that the employee even in a non-union setting does have the right to be represented during that interview now, when I say represented, I don't mean represented by legal counsel. The, the, the ruling was clear that the non-union employee does not have the right uh, to demand legal counsel in that interview or be represented by legal counsel before being interviewed. Um, what it means is that the employee has the right to have a coworker present for that interview uh, to in effect kind of be there as a, as a form of uh, protected concerted activity for the employee. Uh, so something to keep in mind as an employer. Now what the ruling also says is that it's not your obligation as an employer to um, in, in essence give the Miranda rights to the employee. So you don't as the employer have to say hey you have the right to be represented during this interview. Um, but if the employee requests a, a witness or representation during that interview, uh, then you must uh, acquiesce. You must give that employee uh, that right, and you can't have the, the interview uh, without giving the employee that right to representation. So again, the, an employee, even in a non-union setting, is entitled to be represented or have a coworker present as a witness during an interview if that interview is likely to result or possible to result in discipline to the employee at issue, but that representation is not legal representation, solely a coworker. So th something to keep in mind there for employers, even in non-union settings, we often kind of forget about uh, the, the NLRB and rules that might apply, but there are some representation rules for you when you're doing your uh, workplace investigations and workplace interviews. So. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time at Simon Pascal Says.